was very phenomenal. Like seeing it that up close, it makes you feel like you are there. It gives you that sense of uh, empathy to feel what she was going through in the film. Everywhere I looked, I looked around me and I was like, oh my God, I could look at the sun, the clouds, the sky, and I was just like, wow, this is so awesome. I feel like I'm right here with her. I even felt her pain a little. Probably most of us here don't really know about how bad the water situation is. Things like this and just all the exhibits they constantly have actually let us be more open to global situations. We take for granted what we have over here in, the US, in, uh, in America, you know, people complain about little things, but they, they just need water and we have that plenty of it. So we just be grateful for what we have here and what people don't have over there. I'm actually Nigerian, um, so I know of and I understand the struggles of a third world country as I know my own parents had to do such things like, you know, get up early in the morning and get water and, you know, where they could have been going to school or doing something a lot useful with their time to better themselves and that just helped remind me reminding me as um, a first generation American that I have the, the ability to do things to get better. Students have an opportunity to experience the emotion of what they are watching, which is another way in which students learn. So not only does it raise awareness, but it also empowers students, we hope, to think about how they can take steps to help solve the problem, no matter how big or how small, to become upstanders on any human rights issue.